life as cute even as a hundred. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be about a famous Pakistani actor named Hamza Abbasi leaving his thoughts on atheism to embrace and accept his role with Allah and Islam. Before we jump into this video, I need you to smash this video with a huge thumbs up and you should subscribe to this channel as well. Recently, Hamza Abbasi made a heartfelt video in which he explains his origins with atheism. Science was actually something which brought me back to uh, being a theist. He further explains that his recent relationship and understanding of death has caused him to reevaluate his life and how he sees himself and his relationship with Allah. So I felt that after the death of that death, there was a very amazing event that we call the day of the day of the day. I mean, I have to say that I have to say that میری جواب دہی ہوگی اس زندگی کی جو میں اس دنیا میں جی رہا ہوں This has propelled him on a spiritual journey to make him closer to Allah. And now he has announced that he is leaving his career in the industry. And he wants to use his influence to bring people closer to Allah and create more Islamic-centered content. I have decided to leave my life in my life that I want to leave my life in my life. خدا کے بارے میں بات کرتے ہیں کال اٹ ریلیجس ایکٹیوسٹ کال اٹ داوا کال اٹ وٹ ایور یو اینڈ دوز ہو کیپ اپ وتھ ہیم وڈ پرابلی اٹریبیوٹ دس ٹو ہز ریسنٹ کمپلیشن اف حج ان اگست ایور سنس ہی بین بیک ہیز بین ا لٹل مور اسپریچول اینڈ دس میسج از ان لمیٹڈ ٹو جسٹ ہیم ا لاٹ اف اس ہو آر آن اے اسپیسیفک ٹریک اور پاتھ رائٹ ناؤ آر ٹرائنگ آر بیسٹ ٹو ٹرن اور سیلفز بیک ٹوورڈز اللہ اینڈ اسلام فار آل اف اس اؤٹ دیر وی ہیو ٹو ریمبر سم تھنگ اللہ ہیز کریئیٹڈ اس وتھ دا سول پرپس of establishing a link and relationship with him. And if you're not doing this, your life is basically incomplete. You don't feel fulfilled. No matter how much you have, you feel empty and incomplete. And the reason for feeling that way is because you're not fulfilling your purpose as to why Allah created you and put you on this planet. But some of you might be like, oh, why can't he stay in the industry and be religious at the same time? Can't he just continue this journey between him and Allah? Why does he have to leave his job for this? What's the big deal? Other celebrities such as Zaira Wasim who over the summer had done the same thing with the Bollywood industry. It only goes to show you that these entertainment industries are ruining and compromising people's beliefs and values. That a person feels more comfortable distancing themselves from the actual industry in order to maintain and protect their beliefs and values. To be honest with you, I'm really happy and proud of this dude for using his influence in a positive way to impact people on a spiritual level that not many celebrities tend to do. But of course, whenever you try to do something good, there will be people who question your intentions. And the sole purpose of that, my friends, is to bring you down. So many of you out there are trying to turn a new chapter, new page in your life, and you're so worried that since you've been praying, people are now going to call you Oh, Mulana Saab, Namaz Parli. Your sister out there trying to wear the hijab, trying to draw closeness to Allah, and now you're worried because people will start saying What's that on your head? Is that Ramadan already? Whenever you're trying to do good, there will be people who try to bring you and drag you down. That's their sole job. If there's any haters in here right now that don't have nobody to hate on, feel free to hate on me. Allah has placed certain people in our lives to strengthen our iman and our deen with their negativity so that when we overcome them, we become a little stronger. There will always be people in our lives who try to bring us and drag us down because they're jealous of our relationship with Allah. This message right now is going to be directed directly to Hamza Abbasi. <coughs> Urdu mode activated. موسیقی I want to talk about these things. I made a subsequent advice to you that you learn about Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, about His attributes, characteristics, basics. Start with that, that like first, you have accepted Islam from the beginning. And in that way, you should be a little flexible with yourself. Because you should remember that you have been working for so many years with Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, which is not your own. So in that way, you should be a little flexible with yourself. Because you should remember that you have been working for so many years with Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, which is not your own. So in that way, you should be a little flexible with yourself. Because you should remember that you have been working for so many years with Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, which is not your own. So in that way, you should be a little flexible with yourself. Because you should remember اس کا مطلب یہ ہے کہ آپ نے اپنے ساتھ تھوڑا سا فلیکسیبل رکھنا ہے کہ آپ گلتی کر سکتے ہو اور گلتیاں ہوں گی اور 
जन्नत जो है भरे हुए हैं लोगों के साथ जिन्होंने गलतियां की हुई हैं लेकिन सबसे अच्छा गुनेगार वो होता है जो अल्लाह सुबह की तरफ वापस चला जाता है और थोबा करता है I'm feeling good waking up today got to say thanks to Allah for giving me a